Arsenal fan TV here with Freddie Jungberg, invincible. <laughs> All right. How are you enjoying the trip so far? It's been amazing. Uh, it's, you know, lovely places I've seen and good training facilities and everything has been very good so far. How, how good a setting is this Venice Beach in the background? It's lovely. Yeah, it's the first time I'm down here, so of course it's, it's beautiful. Um, of course, the main thing for us is the trainings and stuff like that and inter interact with all the fans we have here, so it's, it's been great. Now, you know what, I was, was going to ask you about the Invincibles. I ain't got a lot of time, but what I want to ask you about is I know you're training now the under-15s, and yeah. I'm quite passionate about um, the youngsters because I've got a, my son is actually, um, he's seven, okay, and yeah. he's actually, uh, he got spotted by Arsenal, and he's okay. been training at London Coney. Okay, now, yeah. what, what's, what's, first of all, what's your advice that you give to kids? That, that's way too young, but of, of that sort of age, you know, they all want to try and make it. What's your approach? To the seven-year-old or the 15s? To, to both. Uh, no, I think it, maybe it's a bit different depending on age groups. But I think if you talk about seven-year-old, they need to have fun. Sometimes they can be pushed a little bit too much, like let's say coaches or parents or whatever, and then they might get tired of it in the end. So I always say it's important to have fun. Mm -hmm. uh, when about what they do, let them play, let them um, do their techniques and stuff. and. Sometimes people might say, oh, they need to get stronger or they need to run and this and that. That comes a lot later, like yeah. just let them be uh, friendly with the ball. That's the main thing. Uh, with my boys, as they're 15s, uh, for me, it's just to try to motivate them, get them focused. There's a lot of distractions in the world these days. And if they want to make it, uh, they compete to the talents in the whole world and they then have to be dedicated and train a lot. But at the same time, we try to have fun and that they love it. But it's, uh, it's a tough world out there. and. Uh, yeah, we need to practice a lot. Mm. Well, thank you very much. I know you're going to do the q and It's good to see you. You're looking well. Look, you could still be playing. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> thank you very much. The uh, question is, where did the inspiration for the Red Mohawk come from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, inspiration was yeah, my hairdresser at the time. Uh, when I was young, I had green, purple, all kinds of colors in my hair. So it was nothing really new, but then uh, yeah, we thought it looked quite cool, and uh, had actually we didn't really think about it with Arsenal, but then it, yeah, it worked quite well. That's where it came from. And then when you heard the song as well, mentioning it, what do you think of the song when you heard that? No, of course, like any player, it's, a, it's an honour when you get your song and to get a song like that. It's special, and uh, they sang it a lot, so we just got a bit of a goosebump when they sang it. So it's good. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, thank you, Adrian. Uh, let's find Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Who are you representing? Um, Trying to winners and out of North Carolina. Oh, okay, so you're having a great week so far? Yes, so far so good. Yeah, awesome. What a way to spend a weekend here in Venice, right? I love it. Okay. It's a great time. And you're here on a rooftop with the, the man, Freddie Jungberg, and you've got kind of quite a personal question to ask him, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little personal, but Freddie, uh, boxers or briefs? <laughs> and why? I think we should add to that. Right? Uh, there's Thanks. There's... <laughs> uh, no, it uh, will be boxes. It's quite simple. <laughs> <laughs> A simple, quick answer. There you go, Stephanie. Thank you. Now you know. Okay, uh, Rick. Where are you, Rick? Let's come and find you over here. Okay. Just uh, pass you the microphone. Tell us uh, where you're from. I'm originally from London, but representing Arsenal America here. Um, so uh, the main supporters group in the United States. You guys have been absolutely amazing this week with all the events that we've been to, singing the songs, knowing all the songs, spreading the Arsenal love across the US for the tour. What, what would you like to ask Freddie? Um, so Freddie, obviously uh, when you were a player we used to go to Bad Waterstorf in Austria. I just wanted to know, in your uh, sort of understanding, what do you think is the, the differences? Which sort of tour do you prefer? Did you like those Bad Waterstorf tours as a player? Or is this uh, sort of much more representative of what you, you enjoy nowadays? Um, I think it's two parts of it. Uh, when we went to, to Austria, it's, uh, yeah, it was like top of a mountain, and uh, all we did was like train and sleep and eat. And that's kind of it. And uh, you got really fit, but yeah, I can be honest, say it was pretty boring. Uh, and now, like the club is growing. Obviously, it's a uh, football is all year, all around the world. So I think it's great because it's you know you guys are supporting us so well. I was in Sydney two weeks ago and there's so many supporters but I never really get in contact with the club and, and the players or, and stuff like that. So if we then can come out and show a little bit of our appreciation to you guys, um, I think that's great and uh, that's just how it's evolved. So, so as a player, yeah, of course I uh, 
probably prefer to, uh, to look at Venice Beach. It's <laughs> <laughs> but that's how it is. That's fair, thank you. Uh, uh, Rick, you've got another question actually about Freddie's current role as well. Um, it was just a, a, a question really about sort of what your ambitions are as a, as a manager going forward. And obviously you're training um, you know, the youngsters at the moment. Um, as part of the academy, which is absolutely fantastic to see you back at the club. We just wondered where, that, where you want to go with that. Is it kind of your, your ambition to go further into that? Yeah, I think sometimes because of your name or whatever, you get offered roles or maybe assistant, this or that. But I felt uh, a bit taking a shortcut. I spoke to Arsen about it a little bit. He was like, his uh, advice was to, you know, start at that level, really uh, learn the trade and do like, I have my own like, assistant, I have sports science, I have my video analysis and defense. So it's almost like a first team when you do a group that you have to handle. And so I'm trying to get as much experience as I can and be hands on and maybe make a mistake in my half time team talk and like learn from that and make notes and maybe I wouldn't have to say that next time and stuff. And uh, so that's what I'm trying to do. And of course, then I want to, uh, to climb and uh, go up to uh, as high levels as I can, but I haven't put out like have to do this and this during the time frame. I just want to get as good as I can and then hopefully someone thinks I'm good enough and maybe, uh, you know, I get somewhere in the end. Let's see. And you've been going to most of the training sessions this week, you? just watching and taking a referee. Yeah, no, the, the boss has been happy to have me around and uh, with the players and like I said, refereeing and stuff. And uh, I love doing that. And I learn a lot and uh, speak to coaches and stuff. So I'm trying to learn all the time. Uh, I think that's important if you're an old player and it's always things you can learn and, uh, and stuff like that. One thing you guys might not have seen, we did a Facebook Live uh, with Freddie yesterday talking about his new role and training and all that kind of stuff. And Freddie, on, on the way to training yesterday, was telling us about actually how he started coaching when you were being coached, right? And there's a great story about a little kid who, who asked you permission to do something. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, no, I played uh, before in Sweden. I played in the same club from 5 to 20 before I went to, to Arsenal. And when you're around 12, 13 years old, they are um, not forced, you, but it's, it's part of your education to coach the five to six year olds when they come into the club. Oh, as a 12 year old? Uh, yeah. So um, so every, I think it's Saturday, nine o'clock for an hour, we coached them. And uh, I thought that was great. You learn a lot of things. And but yeah, the little story was most, it was a kid came up to me and said, like, Oh, Freddie, Freddie, like, yeah? I have to spit on the grass, can I, can I? And I was like, of course you may. And he went like, I think it's about like 15 times. He looked at his parents and we're like, yeah. If Freddie tells me to do it, I'm going to do it. That's good.